during this Easter weekend, it might be interesting to do a reflection asking the question, what is the most intense moment of Jesus' death, his passion? Now, we can say the most intense moment of the weekend is, of course, the resurrection. But what's the most intense moment before that? Now, some people might say when he is being nailed to the cross. Others might say that when he is uh, forgiving those who are nailing him. Others may say when he is walking with his cross, whatever the case may be. Maybe it's when he's being insulted by the bad thief on the cross. There are many moments that one can reflect upon during this time. But I want to offer to you one moment that precedes all of those. Not by much, but it does. We know in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus chooses to do the will of the Father. He doesn't want to. He wants this cup to pass by him, but he chooses to do the will of the Father. And we can say that's when the choice appears, but that's not true. That's when he decides. However, the choice itself is manifest when Jesus is standing before Pilate. Because at that moment, he chooses not to offer any form of defense. And by doing so, he makes it clear when he says, I could call legions of angels right now, but he he says he doesn't, and that's one of the very few things he says, because it is his choice to let all of this happen. In a sense, Jesus is in complete control of the situation and allows everything to happen for the salvation of those who choose to be uh, saved by him. So it's a powerful moment, and it's a bloodless moment too. But it's at that point that the choice he makes in the garden is manifested by his choice not to defend himself. Clearly, he could have even turned around and said, do I look like the king of the Jews? And the pilot would say, well, I guess you don't. But he doesn't. He doesn't offer any kind of a defense. That's where it manifests itself. And everything that happens after that begins really at that moment. We know it actually begins a long time, begins when it's choice to be incarnated, it begins in the garden, but it manifests itself right then and there. And that powerful moment is what leads us to eternal life, because everything that happens after that is the result of the choice that manifested itself then. One of the most powerful things to keep in mind is, and the saints often teach about this, is when we reflect on what Jesus suffered, he suffered it, as we see in that choice, for one simple reason. It was the only way to bring salvation to humanity. There was no other option. St. Maximus, the confessor, brings out this really powerful moment when he talks about, in the 7th century, by the way, the reality that Jesus dying on the cross is the most powerful act of love because it's a response to literally the worst that the devil can throw at anyone. Because what he says is in order for us to be saved, Jesus has to live the law perfectly. In order to live the law, he has to love the Lord love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, love our neighbor as ourselves. That's the law. So that's what he's required to do, love to the point that no matter what happens, he chooses to love. And that's what we know he does. And so everything we see in the cross, which we just discussed, he chose to go through, is the devil trying to get him not to love for so much as a nanosecond, which is the kind of time that computers work on. It's like nine... It's nine zeros, it's decimal point nine zeros, one is a nanosecond. So when we look at that, we can see for so much as one nanosecond, if he didn't love, we'd all be lost. And so that's what he says. What we're really witnessing is the action of the devil to get Jesus not to love. But there's something else here. He chooses to love and he chooses what he will suffer. And that choice when he asks the father to take it from him 
and the father doesn't and calls him to obey is also the temptation to not love the father which of course is also part of the law love the lord your god with all your heart soul mind and strength love your neighbor as yourself so we are witnessing that powerful reality that suffering that he encounters which is the act of the devil trying to get him not to love and it all begins is manifest with him standing before Pilate, choosing not to defend himself. God bless you.